What's up guys, welcome back, we're going back to another video, in today's video, we're finally taking off these ugly, ugly wheels on the i8. I absolutely hate these wheels, and they're so thin, it's seven and a half in the front, eight and a half in the rear, that is really not safe, if you guys think about it. When I went to go uh, on the canyons and all that stuff in the last video, um, it was a little sketchy, I didn't have all the traction I would have liked. So we just got these wheels from Variant Wheels, I'm super excited to put them on. My fiance actually picked these ones out, so uh, let's see how they look on the car. We're gonna be using the rear tires in the front because these tires are over 700 a pair. I went with some brand new tires because obviously this car I'm not trying to cheap out on. Uh, BMW did thankfully put brand new tires on this car, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rears on the fronts because they'll work, and then I got some new rears for the rear. See, I'm hoping the tires end up looking super good um, if not it's gonna be a whole nother adventure but yeah anywho let's go ahead and get the car in the middle of the garage put it on four jack stands this is something I've never done before but I'd rather do it here than take it to a shop and have them touch the car because I don't want you know I love these guys I go to them all the time and it doesn't matter which shop I'm taking the i8 to I don't trust anyone with this car mainly because it is a kind of a hard car to jack up and if anything cracks the car is a carbon tub and uh, it just scares me sometimes so I want to make sure it's under the right hands which is my hands that's the only hands and BMW because they have the proper equipment for stuff like this again nothing wrong with the shop if I would go to any other shop I would do the exact same thing unless it was BMW so that being said let's put the car in the middle of the garage get it on four Jacksons get off these four wheels and take our new variant wheels down to my boys a tire and wheel zone Alright guys, so I don't know if you guys saw the way that we actually jacked up this car. I don't even want to talk about it. But we got it on all four jack stands. The weight ratio on this car is a little weird. Um, obviously most of the weight's toward the rear where the engine is. So when I was jacking it from the rear, the front was lifting with it. So I was able to put a jack there. And then as for this side, we jacked it up from the rear. And we were able to put a jack there. And we just left that one right there because it just works. We put a jack stand right behind it just in case. So yeah, now we got the car on all four jack stands. Let's go ahead and just break all the nuts loose. Take off these wheels and take it with us because um, we're saying goodbye to these ugly looking turbine looking i8 wheels that are super skinny i can really put my hand all the way around them look how skinny these are they're so skinny <laughs> oh, you didn't even press record by the way no uh -oh. yeah you that didn't. was recording no okay guys this should be illegal dude look how skinny this is, a vice. Is. This is skinnier than a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> bro what this is, is this actually this is really unsafe that's what i was dude you know what? why i was so freaking out Ooh, the other day the canyons guys with these wheels oh, oh my god oh my goodness these calipers though are massive those are sick. BMW, Those are I, I so didn't even notice that before. Yeah, these are sick. These are going to definitely show with the other uh, wheels. Bro, that's sick. That's dope. Dude. So, and that's drill slider rotors from the factory, which I don't know how much those are going to cost, but it is what it is. Oh, look. It's got M suspension? M suspension. M suspension. I mean, it is, it, this is the flagship car, so I'm, oh my God. I do. I am happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, man. nice save right there. Okay, we have we need to take our TPMS out of here. Dude, look at the new, these are pretty much brand new. Those are really good. Those are really good. But they I'm are brand new, right? They are brand new. BMW replaced everything. That's what shout out to Urban BMW. They did all the maintenance when I picked up the car. Right. Okay, that's one wheel down. See more to go. All right, guys, these are gonna be actually our front tires, which is a lot more doable. Yeah, these. So these are gonna be our fronts, and we're really getting sick. some new, thicker rears. So um, it's gonna be a lot safer, a lot more stable. Probably not you as know. good fuel efficiency, but who cares? I mean, yeah. I, ca I care more about safety. It's gonna be better grip, maybe not as fast because there is more uh, surface tension. Is it tension? I don't know. But yeah, it should be quicker. As long as it's safer, that's all I can Or about. safer, it's gonna be safer, not yeah, quicker, it's gonna be safer. Okay, safer. Guys, it's kind of crazy to think the engine's right there. That's the engine? Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. There. <laughs> you see the right there, it's a little kitty thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be taking the, um, a lot of things off in the back just to see the motor um, one of these days. We're actually gonna be modifying the intake because this little thing inside the intake, if you remove it, you'll automatically be able to get like, I think an additional like 10 horsepower. Oh nice. Just from removing this one thing from the intake. So we're gonna be removing that. I saw another video on another YouTube channel that has, he dedicates just IA content. So we're gonna try that, why not? Um, but other than that, let's take off the rest of these wheels. Guys, so that's all the wheels right there. These calipers are so sick. They are. Sick. I'm gonna actually clean them up before we put on the other wheels. Yeah. How much battery pad did that use? Oh, not bad. Full nice. battery. All right, guys, I'm gonna go wash up and then. Uh, actually, yeah, we should probably load up all the tires. Yeah, let's load let's up, up everything. All the wheels and tires. Bro, 
bro. This Freaking truck. This thing down to the track. I know, dude. Really Look like, at this. This thing. is a really wide bed. It, it, it is. Huge. It honestly is. I'm about to put on uh, the care package. Came with some variant wheel accessories. So uh, you guys already know I gotta put on the shirt. So uh, three, two, one. And we are back with the variant shirt. This thing hey. actually looks pretty good. I it mean, does check look good. it out. Oh, that, that, now they know what wheels they are. Uh, well, I mean, it says all the packaging. So, oh. like, it says variant all over them. Well, it, I mean, says the, it says the actual. Oh, the actual the wheel? The actual wheel. Well, they're not gonna look it up. They're gonna watch the video. So <laughs> they don't know the color either. They don't know the color. <laughs> Guys, we are here back at tire and wheel zone. Finally getting these tires mounted. Oh my God, I cannot wait for the IA to get a whole new look. All right guys, so we just got the wheels out. They took all the I-8 wheels to the back to get the sensors out, but we have the new wheels here by Variant. Look at these bad boys. They are super, super, super cool. I believe these are the front, uh, they might be the rears. No, these are the rears. Yeah, these are definitely thick, but the reason it's not as concave is just because of how the I-8 is set up. If it's super concave, these will literally won't even fit the I-8. So yeah, super, super excited about these. Shout out to Osman once again here at Tire and Wheels. I'm gonna have the information linked down below. Always hooking it up. Without further ado, uh, let's just wait for them. I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'm excited to get these mounted because as soon as these are mounted, we're gonna go home and we're slapping them right on the IA. We're heading across the street because we're thirsty and he actually wants some chips, so <laughs> we might as well get some while we're waiting uh, for our wheels to get done across the street. I mean, why not? I'm, I'm just really thirsty, so let's see what they got here. Guys, I got my little nuts right here, a drink, just chilling. I'm really messing with the vibes, bro. <laughs> so we have all the wheels loaded up to the back. I'm super, oh dear, Johnny, do not focus on me, man. Focus on the road, my G. I, I know I'm very, very entertaining and you wanna watch the video right. as it happens, but uh, <laughs> we have all the wheels in the back, guys. The tire, like, fitment and everything is absolutely superb. I went with Red Flats, and these are Bridgestones. In total, these tires would run around 1,300, actually, no, they're originally 16, no, how much? 900 each, so 900, eight, each? 900 for the set, for the oh, fronts. 1,800. So about 1,800 dollars for the set. I went ahead and just went with the rears this time because my fronts, uh, my rears on my previous set fit the front. So I would have had to pay 1,800, but I only had to pay 900. <laughs> but anywho, all in all, tires and wheel zone did a superb job. The, the like literally, they even told me the fitments that I probably should go with, and they, they look amazing. I'm super happy now the fitments and everything look. They should actually sit so flush with the car. It's gonna make it look so aggressive. I'm super excited for that. Shit, <laughs> they're gonna be pretty sick. So uh, I guess we'll catch you guys when we get home. We're about to hit 40 minutes of traffic, so. You guys don't want to see that. All right, guys, so we just got home. We don't have much daylight out. Literally, it's five o'clock. I have approximately maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get the wheels on the car ASAP and just see the black and white come together. We also have the center caps right over here, so I'm super excited. Also, the wheels on the i8 come with these, uh, pretty much these hub center cap thing. We're gonna make sure we use these things just to make sure that the spacing and everything is perfect and there's no vibration in the car. All right, guys, I'm sending you guys up right here. Let's see Jonathan's reaction when he sees the rims for the first time. This is like, oh my God, these rims are beautiful. Meantime, while he's still inside, let's throw on these beautiful, beautiful center caps. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my God, let's throw these things on. <laughs> You're on camera. Oh my God. <laughs> He's staying behind the door. Dude, that was like hella aggressive. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> bro, we need to lower it. I know. Let's well, see yeah, it. We have to empty this side too. Bro, this looks crazy. What the heck? Bro, finally. Alright guys, let's get the car down. Alright guys, wheels are on the car and it looks like literally the Batmobile, other than the fact the color is white. It's white. <laughs> But it looks so good with the tinted windows, the black wheels. Um, my fiance actually picked these wheels out. I didn't know how I felt about black wheels, but we did it and I have no regrets. So that being said, I have to see you guys in the morning. Uh, you guys really can't see it right now, but oh my God, it's so freaking it aggressive. So it's so aggressive. So I'll see you guys in the morning and hopefully you guys can see how aggressive these wheels are. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. And a couple days
ladies, lady, we are back here in the garage and we're with the i8. The wheels look absolutely amazing, uh, but these are, it is a couple of days later and I did put a lot of dirt on these wheels. So let me go ahead and clean them all up. I'll take you guys to some, you know, fancy little location and then uh, pull out the drone and just give you guys a little bit of a cinematic. I absolutely love the fitment of these wheels. I'll show you that hopefully all in the cinematic and hopefully show you guys in depth of the wheels, but I honestly am not a big fan of black wheels, but the way we're gonna be going with this car, the black wheels is a huge part of it. So my fiance picked it out. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't I wasn't on her side, but after seeing it in person, um, black is actually a very good choice. Anywho, let's go ahead and get the car cleaned up and I'll see you guys at the park probably. enjoyed it. I hope you guys love the wheels. They are a little bit dirty and they're super hard to clean right now. I need to get them ceramic coated because black wheels tend to get dirty pretty quick. For every black set of wheels, they just get dirty real quick. So I'm going to have to ceramic coat these wheels. My boy Jose does ceramic coating on the entire car and the wheels. I might actually get this entire i8 ceramic coated and the wheels. Just makes life a whole lot easier. Also guys, me and my fiance has been looking for some wraps for this car. If you guys know any good wraps that could probably suit this car, should we go with a custom wrap? Should we go with the camera wrap? Should we go with a specific color? You guys let me know down below or maybe two colors. Just let me know down below What kind of wrap do you guys see the i8 can fit really good in this car is kind of futuristic So a lot of wraps don't really look good on it Like if you just go with like a blue or a yellow in my opinion, it just doesn't look right That's why I went with the white a white or black looks really good on this car and then custom wraps look good too Camera wraps also look good because it is a crazy car with all the aerodynamics If you don't go with a crazy 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 color then just go as subtle as possible because it's either or Anywho, guys that pretty much concludes this video. I got a bunch of parts that came in for the M4. We've been pretty much just trying to do these videos on the i8 till the M4 parts are here. And for the most part, we have everything here other than a few other major components because we kind of need everything to start assembling the front end because once we assemble certain things, we, we don't want to go back. We don't want to take everything back off just to put one more thing back in there. So we're trying to make sure that everything that needs to be put on first gets put on first. That being said, by this Thursday, we should have everything. So hopefully in the next video, we will at least put on a lot of the parts. Hopefully get most of this thing assembled. Hopefully getting it in driving order so we can drive it down the street and drive it back hopefully compared to my other builds we're actually moving very quick on this one and that's mainly because you guys have been supporting your boy by purchasing merch i haven't been shouting at anybody in this video or the last video because normally in the rebuild videos i give you guys a shout out so hopefully in the next video for everyone that purchased merch the last like two or three days will be mentioned in tomorrow's video but yeah thank you guys so much for the cost of support the last m3 build i forked out 20 grand to rebuild that car and every single penny was either from my debit or my credit i went 10k in debt because of that car so thank you guys so much for supporting me on this one because otherwise i'll be back Back in debt. But anyway, guys, without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.